Hey guys, I'm about to give you six trends going on in the t-shirt industry right now. All right, it is, um, it's about to be February, okay? January is over. And right about now is the time to get ready for the spring. I mean, you really should have been doing it last year around about Christmas time, but you know, t-shirts is a, a very quick turnaround. So right about now, is about to be heavy, heavy, heavy t-shirt season, all right? As soon as March is here, it starts to get warm in certain parts of the country. So you want to start getting ready now. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to show you six trends going on in the t-shirt industry. Now, please understand, I'm not telling you to copy anybody because people are going to be like, oh, it's a copy. No, no, no. The industry works like this, Okay. Things trend, just like on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, things trend. There are trending topics, okay? And in terms of making money, you want to capitalize on something when everyone is interested, okay? All big companies do this, all right? If you think that doing something that some or doing something similar to what someone else is doing, if you think that that's biting and that's crazy, you really do not understand this industry, okay? Everybody, and I mean everybody, bites a little bit, and all companies follow trends, okay? The hugest, largest big multi-billion dollar companies go out and buy everyone's stuff bring it back to the lab and make their own versions of it i've been working in this industry for two decades guys i know what i'm talking about who are you going to listen to you person sitting at home in your mama's basement broke don't know what you're doing yet you could be a multi-billionaire but you don't know what you're doing yet or someone who's been doing this for 20 who are you going to listen to all right. So anyway, guys, I want to give you six trends to look out for. Maybe you can use them and implement them in your uh, T-shirt company. Now, once again, remember that this is only if it applies to you. Some things you can do, some things you can't. It depends on your company, what you're about, um, your brand DNA, and your target audience, okay? So that's it. I hope you get a kick out of this. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on to the top six trends in the industry. Peace and blessings, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, the first trend that I want to talk about is the flag trend. Now, I'm not trying to say that wearing an American flag and if you guys want to be patriotic, um, I'm not saying that that is a trend, that is something that's always here, but there are some treatments that are going on and they, the average young like t-shirt consumer is really walking around uh, wearing these uh, flags, not because of patriotism, but because of just it's the thing to wear. So I, I want to go through uh, and show you some um trendy flag t-shirts okay so first one here we have is just kind of uh it's kind of a mask it's got some type of texture in the background it could be a picture i really can't tell let me uh let me blow this bad boy up a little something something so you guys can see it um so it's like it's like almost like a hawaiian pattern and uh they've made um uh, american flag out of that the next one is a your basic distressed american flag uh the next one is an american flag type and we're gonna uh, we're gonna blow this one up and just, we just want to see exactly what this is here and it looks like um uh, I really can't tell. Oh, mustaches. It's mustaches. Okay. It's it's a little pixelated, but so you can't tell, but I have that eye, guys. I have that eye. Those are little mustaches as the uh, stars, okay? And this one right here with this young lady, this is um, arrows, okay? It's arrows and uh, stars, all right? This is uh, another uh, American flag, a basic distressed black and white American flag. And this is another version of that. Oh, 
Oh, all right. This one's a little bit different. This is your Stars and Stripes with some Biggie popping on that. You know what I'm saying? Always good to see Biggie. Uh, this is the next one here. And this one, my friends, uh, this one is a gold foil. It looks like either gold foil or gold ink, American flag version. And this is the standard. And this uh, looks like a sublimated. American flag. I'm going to get into sublimation later. Uh, uh, standard American flag. This thing, this, 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 uh, this trend is really, and this is another, uh, looks like, looks like uh, what looks to be a sublimated American flag here. And here we have it on a baseball tee. We have a baseball tee version. Okay. And this one right here is a kind of combination of the first one. This one is like, uh, Let's blow this up a little bit. This one is, um, it's like a photograph embedded in the uh, American flag. Really, it's a really, really uh, cool. Let me see if I can turn it to the side so we can see that what it is. It's a really awesome treatment. Um, so just to let you guys know that right about now, um, the American flag situation is really, really in. So, um um guys i know that a lot of you guys don't want to follow trends you want to do your own thing and that's great if you want to do that and i know a lot of you guys are here to make money so uh, in business guys i'm just going to tell you something there's a song by the oj's okay old song came out in the se late 70s early 80s called got to give the people give the people what they want all right have to give the people what they want. One of the biggest failures that you can make in business is trying to give them what you want them to have as opposed to giving them what they want. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't do your own thing and come up with something original. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying be cognizant of this, okay? Be very cognizant of the trends, okay? On to the next one. Okay, guys, the next trend that is um, really all over the place, and I'm actually going to show you it in two different ways, um, in two different categories, but that's King Tut, okay? In uh, uh, Comedic Studies, African Comedic Studies, King Tut Onkam, King or Tut Ank Um So let me... Uh, All right, this is one right here, you know. And the next one is very similar. I think it's the same T-shirt. It's another King Tut. Uh, and this is a raglan sleeve sublimated uh, King Tut. Uh, here is a, a another King Tut. This King Tut thing is like all over the place kill him this is another looks to be a sublimated king tut all over king tut i mean th this thing guys you gotta watch these trends this is another um king tut on come on he's holding some looks like what to be some glocks or something right here people you know are always doing their uh spin this is another sublimated beautiful beautiful to on come on beautiful uh and here's another looks to be like a, a sublimated King Tut. So, you know, you can make your own version of this guy. You can have a cartoon version, a sublimated version, a photographic version. You can have King Tut with two young ladies by his side. You know what I'm saying? You can have King, King Tut, you know, smoking some of that ooh-wee if you guys are into that stuff, you know? Uh, I mean, whatever you want to do, there's, there's all type of things to capitalize on a trend. Once again, Got to give the people, give the people what they want. Okay. EPMD made that joint back in the day too. All right, on to the next one. All right, guys. The next trend that I want to talk about is spaceman and robot. Okay, this is very much like an astronaut thing. A spaceman, robot, um, Japanese, futuristic, old school. It's, it's futuristic and it's retro like the 60s with Kennedy and the space program at the same time. So I just want to go through a couple of these, you know, maybe give you guys some ideas. Okay. 
So this one right here, uh, we're going to maybe make this one bigger. And this one you can see says Deep Space Adventure. Really great, great artwork. Uh, 1972, 2011. Just really, really cool t shirt. It's got the astronaut spaceman thing going on. Just, I mean, stuff like this just sells. When, when, when people want something, when people go out and they say they want a, a spaceman t shirt and they go into these stores and they go into the mall or whatever, you know. Show them a Spaceman t-shirt so you can get that money. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to leave those dollars on the table. Once again, if it appeals to your core market, you know what I'm saying? If it appeals to your core market, all right? I'm not saying to go after this trend just to be going for it, but if it's something that you can work into how you do things, then hey, by all means, make it happen. Uh, the next one, this is a very retro, you know, ask not what your country can do. For, no, what is it? One small step for man, one giant step for mankind. Um, really, really cool looking T-shirt. Um, this right here is Pharrell Williams line, Billionaire Boys Club. They are killing them. Awesome, awesome shirt. You know what I'm saying? That's his logo. Uh, this is the robot, spaceman and robot, all these in this. And the thing about it is it's futuristic, but it's retro at the same time. Very like George Jetson, Rock'em Sock'em robots. And you see the really awesome bright colors. You know, stuff looks great, man. This stuff is, I mean, this stuff sells, man. When people want this stuff, they want it. Uh, here's another one. There's a, a, a spaceman uh, astronaut joint. You know, this, this stuff is, is, is happening right about now. Uh, it's been going on for a minute now, but, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, okay? All right. Um, here we go with another Astro. He's got, like, some type of briefcase here. That's a really cool one. There's another one. This is, like, the silhouette of a robot, and it's like, uh, let me, hold on, let me, let me, let me blow this one up a little bit. So we can see what's going on. It's kind of a mask going on, and it's all type, of, it's like a collage in the background, and it's like a space alien robot kind of a thing going on. Really, really cool. And, of course, how could I not leave out my mans in them? Okay. Izzy Ishiyama. The unstoppable monster, the spaceman on the green planet. I mean, you have to check them out. Izzy Ishiyama. I'm going to put a link in the description box. Please go check them out. Support them. Brother uh, Isaac also has a YouTube channel. I'm going to put that in the description box also. Check him out. All right. He gives great, great, great advice and really tells you guys how to, like, you know, how to hold it down and how to um, get these, uh, these T-shirt businesses cracking. You know what I'm saying? Real good guy. All right. All right. We got another one here. This one is kind of like a a radio guy, and it's, it's like a radio robot thing, you know? So it's kind of retro. It's like a boombox thing, too. Really, really cool. Okay. Here's another, you know, the old school retro kind of, a, um, you know, 60s, yet 2080 space robot thing you know futuristic and retro at the same time here's another one it's a japanese one really really awesome i mean this stuff this stuff works man uh here's another one right here all these robots really cool it's got these guys with and, and this is the old school one it's like a knight fighting the robots really great artwork um and here's another one it's like a astronaut we choose to go to the moon astronaut thing going on really really cool stuff spaceman robot okay this stuff is really really happening all right mighty robot here kind of cartoon retro with the photographic thing this one is a really popular one that is on um uh, threatless.com and uh, it's like he's got anxiety. I guess he's scared. It's like space ghosts, astronaut ghosts or something. I don't know. But it's really, really cool. Really, really cool. And uh, here we got this one right here with Broham. Broham is wearing the, he's got, you know, sister with a bathing suit on. And then she's got the space um, astronaut helmet on. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. Can't go wrong with the astronaut helmet. And this one right here, let's blow this bad boy up. This is kind of like a, you know, another one, you know, it's like a British flag and it's, 
you know, old school, uh, retro robot monster tearing up London or whatever. Really, really cool stuff. So check that out, man. That's another trend for if it, if it lends itself to your line. You know what I'm saying? Spaceman robot. On to the next one. All right, well, the next one I want to talk about is really, really cool, and it's really, really trending right now. And it's a really great way to do some awesome, eye-catching, outrageous stuff. And this is called sublimation, okay? Uh, it's a, it's a, a special technique in which you can p put any type of print on a T-shirt, okay? But the key is it has to be a very special type of print, and it has to be... A type of t-shirt and I get into and I talk all about this how it's done and tell you where it's done and where of course my book my ebook start a t-shirt business or die trying which by the way has been getting some rave reviews I'm gonna have to do a video on that um, thank you every much for all the people who've copped it um, but anyway I talk about this in my book but it's really an awesome technique um, here's another one right here, and uh, this is also I'll put this in here. Um, is you know you see sublimated, and uh, once again King Tut. Once again, I'm telling you that King Tut is popping. Uh, this is like a Greco-Roman sculpture right here. Uh, and here we have another one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, any photograph, if it's been photographed, you can put it on a t-shirt sub all over sublimated t you know what i'm saying this one right here is like someone's doing like an nba kind of a cartoon thing with spike lee and lebron and all these different people characters or whatever um here's another one i just want you to go th this is the thing about this with the sublimation is that your mind is the only things stopping you okay your mind and your imagination and not even your artistic talent because uh in my ebook also i tell you guys where to get people to do stuff like this for like a little bit of nothing so definitely check that ebook out if you guys are serious about um getting into this business uh i mean there's just i mean this sublimation man there is no I mean, there's just no in this side. I mean, look at this stuff, you know. If you can conceive it, it can go on a T-shirt, all over the T-shirt. I mean, it's really something else. Just going to try to whiz through these so you guys can get a look at this sublimation. Uh, it's really killing them right now. And you want to get while the getting's good. And, you know, when people, this is, the thing about, this is the thing about trends. When they want it, damn it, they want it. And when it's over, it's over. It's a wrap. They don't want no parts of it. So... But the thing about it, when they want it, everybody wants it. And that's when you get, that's when you start to get from those hundreds to those thousands, okay, to those six figures, to those M's, baby. You want to get into those M's and those multi-M's. That's millions, baby. Multi-millions. All right? Uh, here's another one. They got the gold chain, the sky tie-dye sky clouds a zebra on a roof i mean you could do any this is the thing the sky is the limit all right clouds baby look at that clouds you know this is one of the pictures that i also have in the book um clouds guys um check this out uh darth vader now this is licensed product george lucas and now disney owns the rights to all of this stuff and they are very 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 litigious about their stuff so unless you have the rights to do this i don't suggest it but this just goes to show you what can uh be done you know what i'm saying oh look at the puppy look at the puppy look at the puppy the bulldog everything the monolith and you got any of you guys have ever seen uh, the masterpiece film 2001 A Space Odyssey you'll understand exactly where this is from uh, and 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 what's this guys what is this again boom King Tut alright here's another one right here uh, it's like uh, this one is like a tree and it's all celestial and mystical and all this beautiful stuff and it's got the uh, out, it's got the little hang tag I tell you where to get all that good stuff in my book. 
of course, another shameless plug. You know, I will not stop. And here is a another one of these awesome sublimated t-shirts, man. Get on it, guys. Get on it. And get the ebook. Next. This I'm sure you've all seen. So I'm going to go through it really, really quickly because I know you've all seen it. But it seems to still be around. It's been around for a few seasons now. And it seems to still be around. That's Mickey Mouse hands. You got Mickey making a heart. Mickey rolling some bud. Mickey's got the all-seeing eye with the Chicago Bulls. Mickey with a logo. Mickey holding the gun. Uh, Mickey throwing up a diamond, Mickey making his hand like a gun, Mickey holding the camera. You got Minnie Mouse twerking. I had to throw that one in. You got somebody doing the ooh, ooh, ooh sign, and you also have Grinch hands. So I just wanted to go through that real quick. Uh, I think this this trend is definitely on a downturn. However, people still like it, and if you do something, people still buy it. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, got to give the people what they want. Okay, last trend that I want to tell you guys about is um, pixelated 8-bit. This is what I call this, pixelated 8-bit. The, these things are all over the place. And um, I'm going to do a video on how you can do this. It's a relatively simple process. And I, I'm going to do a video on how you can do this very soon. Um Oh, and by the way, something I'm coming out soon, I'm coming out with my Illustrator and Photoshop tutorials, all right? All about how to use um, uh, Illustrator and Photoshop for t-shirt tutorials. That's coming, I say within the next two months, I'm gonna go away, take a little flight, take a trip, and work on that one, you know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, guys, pixelated graphics. You look at this one, this one is like a, a, a cherry, and a lot of this stuff is based on old school 8 book graphics like you know nintendo and nes and all that old school stuff man that's that's like you know that's retro now and you see this one this one's like a skeleton and you know really really awesome stuff and it's pixelated i mean this stuff i mean it's just i can't it's just cool you know what i'm saying it's it, it, i really can't put it any way other than it's just cool you got sister girl here with 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 the burger you know like like the burger something you get in the video game this one here i think this is truck fit lil wayne shout out to lil wayne this one is like a pizza all this stuff looks like the old video game stuff man this stuff looks awesome you know, and I mean, the sky's the limit, you know, this looks like the old Mike Tyson punch out, you know, but they got the new Mike Tyson with the, uh, it looks like he's got the, uh, it looks like he's got the eye tattoo, but they gave him a gold tooth and Mike Tyson got rid of the gold tooth, you know, got to get these things right, you got to have the continuity right, guys, get it right. Uh, this is the old Bugs Bunny thing right here, you know. Once again, this is licensed product. I go over all the intellectual property in my book, um, what you can use and what you cannot use. You know, if you do not have license to do this, you know, you can do whatever you want. But if you get caught, you're going to be in trouble. Um, the gorilla here. We got uh, this is Marvel right here, which is Captain America. But, you know, pixelated. Once again, uh, someone did something for Boston. Uh, with, I guess that's the Patriots, which is the most god-awful team on the planet. Um, sorry, I'm a Jets fan, guys. Uh, and then we have this one right here. Um, you know, my Uzi weighs a ton. It's old-school gangster type thing. So pixelated stuff, guys. Listen, guys, I hope this has been uh, enlightening to you. Um, please understand once again that, you know, uh, I'm not trying to tell you to copy anyone, but in this business, and I talk about this in the book, in this business, this business is about trends and this biz business is about giving people what they want. And if someone goes into the mall, if they see, let's just say they see somebody with a really cool pixelated shirt. Oh man, I love your t-shirt. And they're in the mall and they want to get one and, or they're at a street fair or they're online looking and they Google search pixelated 8-bit tees, you want them to pop up at your site and you want them to see something cool and boom, click and order, okay? Ain't no more, well, the days of uh, brick and mortar, that was a time, but now it's all about clicking 
order, okay? Brick and mortar, how about click and order? So you want people to click and order your stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Got to give the people, give the people what they want. My name is Gary. Uh, please make sure that you go to the t-shirthelpdesk.com for all of your t-shirt wanting to start a business needs and tutorials, all type of good stuff and goodies over there. Thank you so very much for watching and cheers to your t-shirts. Peace guys. Yes, guys, yes, it is here. It is here. Okay. You got it. Start a business or die trying. The ebook is here. Uh, and when you get the book, you know, the book can be, you can put it like this right here, you can put it on the iPad and just really go through these awesome chapters here. I mean, it's really great. You can also, if you get it in a Word or PDF format, um, you can um, read it on, just on your straight computer. You know what I'm saying? It's an ebook. Um, coming out with an actual physical book very very soon and um, if you guys have a Kindle it's also available in Kindle format you can get it any format you want so don't think that you have to have an iPad or, or an e-reader to read it you can read it right on your computer but if you do have an iPad you know what I'm saying it makes it all better guys you know what I'm saying I don't know what else to say to you guys you know this is a uh, really a really a, a, a really a great experience you know what i'm saying i think that it is definitely uh owner's material for anyone who's trying to get into this business um i wish you guys nothing but the absolute best no matter whether you get this book or not